hello everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel diy repairs today we are going to see the function of flow restrictor used in ro water purifier and also we will calculate which flow restrictor is matched with which ro membrane basically the flow restrictor restricts the flow of rejected water coming out of ro membrane so that high pressure is maintained inside the ro membrane by creating back pressure on the ro membrane if you don't use flow restrictor then high pressure water coming from booster pump will come out unhindered from reject outlet of ro membrane as a result the pressure inside the ro membrane will decrease and the ro membrane will not work let us see how a flow restrictor works to demonstrate this we will need a booster pump a flow restrictor a ro membrane 24 volt smps and some connecting pipes Connect the RO membrane to the pipe with the booster pump keeping in mind the direction of flow of water marked on the booster pump as well as on the flow restrictor. If we turn on the booster pump without connecting the flow restrictor to the RO membrane at the reject outlet, you can see that all the water comes out from the reject outlet and we don't get any pure water. But when we connect the flow restrictor at the reject outlet, you can see that now we are getting the pure water from the hole marked RO. Flow restrictors are available in various flow ratings and should be selected according to the capacity of RO membrane. Let's see how we can find the matching flow restrictor for the RO membrane. The rating you see on the flow restrictor such as FR300, FR450, FR550, FR800 indicate the flow rating in milliliter per minute. The RO membrane capacity is given in GPD, gallons per day. One gallon equals approximately 3.78 liters. The value of flow restrictor should be three times the membrane capacity when the TDS of water we have to filter is less than 500. If the TDS of water is more than 500, then the flow restrictor value should be four times the membrane capacity. To find the matching flow restrictor, we need to convert the RO membrane capacity in GPD into milliliter per minute. To convert it into milliliter per minute, simply multiply the RO membrane capacity in GPD by 2.625. You can see how we get this conversion factor. For an example, let's find the matching flow restrictor for RO membrane of 75 GPD capacity. First convert 75 GPD into milliliter per minute, which is equal to 196.875 milliliter per minute. As we know, the flow restrictor rating should be three times the RO membrane when raw water TDS is less than 500. Multiplying 196.875 by three, we get 590.625 milliliter per minute. So for RO membrane of 75 GPD, we should use a 550 ml flow restrictor. But when TDS of raw water is more than 500, then flow restrictor rating should be four times the RO membrane. Then we should use 800 ml flow restrictor. To make it simple, the recommended flow restrictor size are listed in the given table. The RO membrane and flow restrictor capacity must be matched to keep a proper balance between water wastage and purification quality. If they are not matched, this can cause excessive wastage of water or may reduce the life of the RO membrane. If we are using a lower capacity flow restrictor for a higher capacity membrane, then it will result in early choking of the RO membrane. And if we use a higher capacity flow restrictor, then it will result in higher wastage of water. Now the question is when to change the flow restrictor. It is recommended that the flow restrictor should be replaced every time an RO membrane is replaced. Because over time, like RO membrane and filters, flow restrictors can also get choked because of scale buildup. Also the capacity of booster pump should be 25% more than the capacity of RO membrane. 
you can see here that we are using a 100 GPD motor for a 75 GPD RO membrane.